Hey, Mike here. So it's an August 2020 day here. Uh, we are in what, southwestern Pennsylvania, up in Appalachia, about 2,230 feet in elevation. Uh, it's a pretty nice day. I wanted to share the, uh, this is the Goldie Hawn uh, automatic seater. <laughs> okay, I'll explain. There's a wire extending through the uh, meadow there. It's, I don't know, 15 to 20 feet high, depending on where you're, where you're standing. Um, that wire extends the whole way across the meadow. It's 300 and some odd feet long. And there's actually another one that extends from this tree up here, this maple, and goes out and crosses, and crosses right out there in the middle. Now, the purpose of this wire is uh, I'm trying to attract birds, or at least give birds an opportunity to perch up in the middle of my meadow, just instead of just on the, uh, the edge. And that's for a variety of reasons. I'm trying to attract some wildlife, whatever I can. Uh, I'm also trying to get the shit. Uh, whatever they want to shit in my meadow is fine with me. Um, if I can get some seeds, some wildflower seeds, some tree seeds, some uh, whatever they want to drop. If it's something that's of a local variety, that's to benefit me and to, to benefit uh, the entire ecosystem up here. A lot of the birds that might land on this wire, uh, they might just eat caterpillars and um, grasshoppers and things like that. That's also fine. It gives them a place to perch. They can shit while they're up there. They can get a, a better eye on the caterpillars. They can stop and rest on the way back to the nest. That's good for bird populations. That's that's just good. So uh, I, I, I read about this in a book here the other week. Uh, it wasn't exactly this. They were suggesting that along fence rows and uh, fence lines, um, there's a lot of different seeds, uh, different trees and stuff that might come up. So suggested, you know, putting up a wire. So I thought, well, what the hell? Why put it along the edge? Why just put it over the, the wildflowers over there in the corner? I want to have stuff everywhere. So that's what I did. I climbed up in some of these trees with a stepladder, used a laser level, laser level to uh, get everything level. I really didn't have to do that, but I, I wanted the consistency of it. Uh, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to use the tools I have. And uh, so they ended up crossing pretty good out there in the middle. I'll show you the hardware that I used on this side. This is 14 gauge high tensile uh, electric fence wire from Tractor Supply. I bought a half a mile of it for 50 bucks. I didn't need that much, but uh, it ain't going to go bad. And I'm already pretty impressed by it. I could use this for all kinds of stuff. I used a piece of black plastic water line, old stuff that was laying around to go around the tree. Gives it a little bit of room to grow and, and uh, prevent it from growing into the tree. That is a uh, tensioner strainer excuse strainer it's like 350 four bucks you need a special wrench to uh to tighten that thing so they do sell it at tractor supply i didn't know it got home realized i needed it i'd go back the next day they, they didn't have it said uh to try a different tractor supply so that was super helpful to them so i just i went home and i, I built one it's pretty simple you can look on the website and see how they're they're done there's other styles of them too but um on the other end i have uh three springs uh they're uh, a trampoline i tore down i saved all the springs threw them in a bucket uh finally had a use for them i used two on the first wire over there seemed like not enough they stretched too much i used three on that the reason i used springs was because i expect these trees to sway and i get a big enough storm if they both sway away from each other at the same time i suspect i could snap that wire uh, or at the very least it would stretch and then it's going to be loose so thus the springs we'll see what happens um, I don't really know what else to say about it. We're going to see what happens. I think I have them set high enough that any piece of equipment that I have won't be uh, influenced by it. I'm not going to run into it or anything. Uh, uh, a dump truck dumping its load probably would have to uh, be, a, be aware of it, but, you know, I'm not worried about that. Uh, I have another one down in that lower meadow. That's the tulip meadow down there. A lot of tulip trees, tulip magnolias. And I have a single one, 350 feet long, going across that with four springs. Seems appropriate. So, you know, if you want to do something like this, I would say three to four springs for 250 to 350 feet will do it. I don't know if we can go farther. I mean, there's a little bit of a, 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 a dip in the middle of it. it. They look straight from down here, but, you know, there's a slight catenary dip. But they seem they seem good and strong. So I had a bird on it yesterday. called it Kurt Russell. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. So Goldie Hawn, bird on a wire. Kurt Russell, Goldie Hawn, right? Okay, haha. Uh -huh. So, you know, Goldie Hawn, automatic seater. So, uh, yeah, you know, you wouldn't have to go with anything this this involved, um, climbing up in trees and all this, but uh, I thought I'd give it a shot. If something 
something, you know, seeds out there in the middle of the meadow, maybe I'll transplant it. You know, maybe it's a little tree or something like that. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe, you know, finches and things like that, you know, eat variety of different seeds and stuff, you know, start getting different kinds of wildflowers. Whatever, I don't have to buy stuff, you know, that's great. It's local stuff. On the other hand, I can get a lot of other things too. So I'm back here in the woods collecting some uh, six, eight foot long pieces of wood for a uh, hugel culture kind of going down there first time. Oh, here it is. Korean barberry, <laughs> barberry, whatever, barberry, whatever. Ooh, it's starting to go everywhere. There was a uh, trailer down below. Some people live there, and, and they must have planted it. It's ornamental. Um, I've seen it at Lowe's. All the crap they sell in there at Lowe's, it seems like it's all, you know, these introduced plants, and this thing seems to just want to, it's creeping up everywhere. So I'm going to be fighting this stuff for years. I just cut this with a chainsaw, but I can already see there's others coming up. They're all over the damn place, so... I'm going to be fighting this. Uh, there's also tri Chinese trumpet vine over there. So I'm guessing this thing probably produces a berry that, an edible berry that birds are eating and dropped it over here, if I had to guess, and all around the property. So, you know, you, you get the good with the bad. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's like 1,200 feet of wire. So uh, it's only been up for a few days. I might add some more in the, another meadow. It's a swale here. I have another video on that. Uh, so... Yeah, that's really all there is to say about that. Thanks for watching. Goldie Hawn.